Hey everyone, this is meteorologist Brad Penovich with your Ski Southeast forecast for big President's Day weekend. I wish, I wish I had better news. It's some good news for some parts of the southeast, but this is not a really good pattern. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not going to hold any punches. I don't like this setup going into the weekend if you want to know. The good news is so many of the resorts have laid down such a good base, it's probably not going to matter. But just know we're not going to get a ton of natural snow for most of the southeast. I'm not going to say all of it because I'm going to show you why. As I look at this storm system this weekend, we've got warm air for Friday, so this is all rain across the southeast. Uh, this cold front is going to push through and lower the temperatures pretty dramatically Friday night into Saturday morning. Now this might allow for marginal snow making up in West Virginia, Maryland. It's not great. It's going to be so moist. I don't. It's not really good. I like drier air for snow making, but We'll see. I don't know if we'll start to blow some snow, but there could be a little bit of snow uh, on the back side of this front. Again, it doesn't look like a whole lot, but it's colder, which is good news. This will sustain what's ever on the slopes right now. Where it gets interesting is on Saturday, the cold air moves in, and Saturday will be a chilly, raw day. This moisture comes up from the southwest, and right now, most of the guidance is going too warm for the Carolinas for snow, but I'm not going to be shocked if it starts as a little bit of snow or ice before it changes to rain better chances for snow up here in Virginia, West Virginia, and really Maryland. And this is primarily going to be Western Virginia and Eastern West Virginia, Pocahontas County, Timberline, uh, Snowshoe, up to Wisp in Garrett County, Maryland. Um, I think this is actually going to be a nice wet heavy snow up here. So if you are doing some skiing on Friday up there, I think you're going to get dumped on with some big fat flakes falling, but it's going to be like Sierra cement snow. It's not going to be real powdery stuff. Um, and you can see that's a, that's a lot of moisture. So if it can stay cold enough, which it looks like it will, above about 3,500 feet, maybe even a little bit lower, um, that's going to be a good chunk of snow uh, moving up there Saturday night into Sunday. I went a little too fast there. And then the cold front moves through, and it kind of maybe a bluebird day up in the Virginias, but shouldn't be bad at all on Sunday. So I actually think it's a decent weekend for skiing. There will be some rain on Saturday, but with the conditions on the slopes and great groomers, I think it's going to be fine. So um, not bad. I just wish it was a little colder and snowier for those who like the natural stuff and maybe a little bit of fresh up from uh, from man-made stuff. It's not the weekend for you um, down in North Carolina. But check out what happens up here in West Virginia um, in Maryland. I'm going to go through Sunday. And you can see it's not a ton. I mean, it is what it is. We'll zoom in closely. You can see maybe three to five inches at snowshoe maybe uh one to two down towards a uh, winter place flat top mountain there uh timberline um con valley up towards a uh, snowshoe seven springs looks like they're going to get a good dumping up there as well so as i look at the weekend forecast here i couldn't put a lot of snow making in here because i'm not confident it's going to be cold enough for snow making but there certainly could be some natural snow saturday into sunday and maybe even friday up in West Virginia, Virginia, and Maryland. So it's not all doom and gloom for the President's Day holiday. So if you're getting up to the mountains this weekend, I know my kids have a four day weekend, I wish we were going skiing, but obviously I have to work um, Friday and Monday. Not bad conditions overall because of the great season we had. Now, long range, are we gonna have an early spring? I think, you know, we're going to the Ski Southeast Summit is coming up um, that first weekend in March. So certainly keeping my eyes on that, I start looking at the long range pattern here. Um, it's going to be warm for the next seven to eight days. There's no denying that. But at some point, this pattern has got to change. This is going into the weekend. And this is the pattern. You might remember this last year, this big southeast ridge. And we were getting blowtorched nonstop. And the west was just getting epic amounts of snow and cold. This is the pattern next week. It is not conducive for snow making or natural snow. But... As we go through the week, that ridge gets squashed down a little bit, and we start getting more zonal flow, which is west to east movement. And there are some subtle hints by next weekend that we might see a little bit of a pattern change. It doesn't look like a mega trough or anything, but at least maybe back to average, which could allow for some natural snow with some fronts, some northwest flow snow, and maybe some cold temperatures to help out with the snow making situation. So I'm somewhat optimistic uh, because it's warm now. A lot of folks have been asking me, are we done with winter? Here's the thing. We got a long ways to go. You really can't write winter off in the southeast through about the mid to end, Mar end of March, especially at higher elevations and sometimes even early April. So because it's warm now, there's just one thing you know about weather. You just don't get locked into this pattern forever. Even cold patterns don't last forever. 
even warm patterns got to have some fluctuation. So the fact that it's warm now, at some at some point the pattern's going to flip. And because we still have so much left in February and all of March, there's a good chance there's going to be a week or two window in early March, that, or even maybe in mid-March, where we see a little bit of colder, uh, stormier weather before we get full on into spring skiing season. So I hope you're having a great weekend. Enjoy it if you're heading to the slopes. I'm mega jealous that you're uh, heading up to the ski resorts. Have a great time. I will be going to the summit this year up at Snowshoe, so if you're going up there on that first weekend in March, be on the lookout for me. I'm bringing the family up there again. We will have a blast regardless of the weather. I don't let the weather stop me when I'm skiing. Have a great weekend, everybody. Enjoy the President's Day holiday. And remember, we still got a ways to go. Still keep thinking snow.